Hi friends, it is Ayucha from Ayucha RP account in Bangalore. Now we are continuing to work with healthcare application. In this video, we are going to see like you know, in queues management, like how to add queue. And first of all, like what is a queue and uh, what are the benefits of uh, benefits of like in queues? So a queue can be used by a process to manage a workload, and so we can store like you know the work can be stored as a list of like all individual items, and is for this one. A special internal business object will provide to work with like a queues items. Each item contains a collection of data and it's used by the process. When an item is being worked, it is locked to ensure it can it cannot be worked elsewhere. After being worked, an item is either marked as a complete or an exception, and a queue can be configured so that like an exception items can be worked again. And a queue can be temporarily deactivated or reactivated, and the and then on moreover like we can use it for uh, so reporting purpose so in this uh, video so i have designed like one business subject regarding regard, like a healthcare application means like a login to an application and then sending records so, but whereas here I have defined like my own records in the last videos we have collected data from an excel but here i have defined my, my own records in, in a collection and so reset it and then run it So if you observe here, just I've used like only like four, uh, like around four fields, uh, four fields and four records, and see so it's working fine. Let me stop this process, uh, like around this reset it, then save it. And before we work with uh, so work queues, so we need to define a name for this one under system tab workflow like a work use. Can okay, new and by default, uh, you know, it, 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 you know the blue picture will assign a name like a Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 like that, and we we can rename it. So let me rename it like a healthcare. And copy it so apply and then go to control room so here you can find the name of like you know the one we created just before right now it's an empty and then now I'm going to studio like process studio I'm assigning a name for this one like a healthcare okay, page healthcare process like a queues management Then click on finish. Then drag and drop action stage. So healthcare login and update. And select the business object and then Okay, select an action that is a login plus update records. So link it. Then 
and run it. So it's giving us an error message like internal exception. There is a fail to perform step one in navigate stage. Click on new. Okay, we'll see. Go back to So here, so I increase like a waiting time. Again, it's giving us an error message like uh, click on new. So, login plus uh, and unable to match. So, click on new. Okay, right. So, go to business object. So, launch. So here is like a new button. So highlight. Yeah, it's working fine. So use wildcard. So if you observe the error here. I will show you the date because I captured it in yesterday's date, but whereas application is displayed like in today's date, that's why it's mismatching. And then I change it to like you no know, wildcard. So we'll you know we'll accept any date. Save it. Then go to process. So reset it and then run it. Okay, still it is giving you error message.
okay in the business subject cloud it's working fine Okay, refresh it. Yeah, now it's working fine. Obviously, the reason is like a blue prism is much faster than application. So that's why like we increase the waiting time when uh, when we assign a task. Like click on new action, click on new button on application. So almost every blue prism process will make use of like a work queue which is essential list of jobs or cases and now new cases can be fed into the queue and the queue can be updated with the results of each case's work. So it's done and then let me use, let me go to like an object studio. So copy the collection, the paste it here. So let me use one business or like an action stage. Can you add to queue? And select internal business object as work queues and the queue name is so healthcare the collection is the patient information so default until we don't require this one right now now go to outputs now click on item IDs I'll link it so reset it and go to control room so healthcare right now the queue is an empty So by using work queues, you see the multiple machines can work from the same queue at the same time and each can reach like a different cases to work. So here the individual cases can be marked as a complete and when it has been completed like you know satisfactorily or else will mark as an exception and if it is not like a properly work. And the queues can be used for like a management information purpose and moreover so we can differentiate the data like incoming data for reporting purpose for example let us say while incoming data is kind of have like a like both male and female and then we can differentiate the data and then we can report the data for like a management purpose
Yeah, still is working. It's done. Then go to control room. So if you observe here, the four records are added to Q and please stay with us for more videos on Q's management uh, for healthcare application. Thank you for watching.